Hello everyone, welcome to a new video and a new year. I'm not sure how your January has been going, but so far I am really relating to that uh, meme on Facebook. You know, this one. Yeah, yeah, the first couple weeks have uh, been difficult to say the least, but we're gonna push through. We're going to continue trying to have a good year because that's all you can really do, you know? Be optimistic, be positive, and just push through. Being a girl, when things are getting hard, we like to change, you know? Change our hair, change our style. I'm not doing either of those. My hair is gonna pretty much be the same, green. My style, you can't see because of the dirty mirror, but still basically the same. What we are gonna change is this bathroom wall. It just uh, doesn't do much for me, and when you're doing your business, this is the wall you're staring at. Now I have nothing against the beach, but I live in Florida and I don't really like the beach. So we're gonna change this. I've been seeing a lot of trends on TikTok where they do like this abstract minimalist sort of painting. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do on this wall. So we're gonna go get some food cause I'm starving. And then we're gonna run by Lowe's, try and get some sample paints and see how the day progress. You're coming along, let's go. All right, so here's the plan. Just ordered some pho, we're gonna get that, eat it outside at the park, cause you know, I should really get outside more, especially in 2021. I mean, look how freaking pale I am. Uh, after that, we are going to go to Lowe's and see if I can't get some paint samples of colors kind of similar to this. Hopefully Lowe's has it. I was looking online and for whatever reason I couldn't just order it and pick it up. Um, I was saying the closest one I can get was at like Jensen or Pompano, which is bonkers to me. So if they don't have it, I guess I'll just go to Michael's and get some normal acrylic paint, which will probably backfire on me, but we're gonna make it happen one way or another. So let's go get some grub. No, I said I would be eating outside, but there's just a lot of people and it's kind of cold. So I'm going to attempt to eat this pho in my truck and I'm sure it'll be a disaster, but <laughs> my life is a disaster. All right, let's get this pho going. We got our big tub of broth. We have the bowl of noodles with some shrimp, onion, cilantro, fried egg, and what would pho be without the sprouts and the green? Gonna add in a little bit of sprout, green, whatever. Sprouts going in. Sprouts are one of my favorite parts when it comes to pho, it's just so good. That little extra crunch in there. Put in some of your lime. Really bad at squeezing limes, like awful. For some reason, uh, my body can't do the simplest of tasks, such as putting a bottle cap on a drink takes me way longer than it should. And it's kind of embarrassing, but that's my life, right? We got our sriracha, which is a must. And whatever this is, not really sure what it is, but I put it in there anyways and it tastes great. Fun little soup spoon. And of course, chopsticks. So let me put that stuff in without spilling everything on top of me. Whoo, this is a challenge. If you live in the same area as me, I get this from Viet Bowl. It's one of my favorite places to get food from. So much so that I've eaten there three times this week, but I'm not complaining. I can literally eat pho and sushi and pretty much just any Asian food all the time and not complain. It's just, I don't wanna say it's the perfect food, but man, it really hits all the spots I need hit. The trickiest part is pouring the broth into this without spilling it all over myself and the truck. Wish me luck. Ooh, he is hot. 
Yeah, if I spill this on myself, it is not going to be good. I will get third degree burns. This stuff is piping hot. Holy cannoli. Lid is off. Fear is rising. Nice and slow. Perfect. Cheers. Now while I wait for that to settle, cool down a little bit, really seep into the noodles, let me give you guys a little life update. Last we spoke, um, sorry, there's a dog barking in the distance and I'm sure you can probably pick it up. Anyways, last I saw you guys, I was getting ready to go to a uh, little family get together trip for Christmas in Tennessee. We had a great time, at least in my opinion, you know, with family, there's always going to be some ups and downs, but personally, I was able to check everything off of my holiday vacation to-do list. It snowed the first two days we were there. I made a snowman. Here's a picture of that. He was small, but you know, cute. We love him. I got to go ice skating. I went on a hiking trail. Got to go to one of my favorite restaurants in Pigeon Forge. Again, it's another Asian place called Now, and they have some of the best fried rice I've ever had. So all in all, it was a really great trip. Me and James had a great time. Since this is my channel, I do want to include you guys in what's going on in my life. I am not a very, my life is not very dramatic, at least in my opinion it isn't, but I, did make some tough decisions. Um, I had decided that my partner of seven and a half years and I should separate. It has been very hard. I know it was my decision, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt any less. We are separating on good terms. We still love each other. It's just after so many years, I felt like something was missing and I didn't feel it was right to keep taking up his time if I didn't feel the way I think I should feel in a relationship like that. He is a great man and again, I love him so very much and I just want him to be happy. So there's that. <laughs> it's super sad, I know. Um, also my dance class at the studio unfortunately did not have enough kids enrolled. so. This season I won't be at the studio, which is also very hard. Uh, I know it's temporary that I'll be able to come back in the summer and also do some master classes, but it's just hard not being able to go there weekly and see all the kids and my uh, dance family, basically. So the start to this year has been very rough. <laughs> And typically the uncertainty of what the new year has to bring can be exciting for a lot of people. It typically is for me, but this year the uncertainty really freaks me out. I'm having to make a lot of tough decisions, really change the way I kind of live life. And it's a bit of a struggle, but I'm trying to make it through. I'm trying to find things that make me happy and really hold them close. <laughs> One of those things being pho and making YouTube videos, hanging out with my close friends, crafting. I finally finished the wrap skirt that I've been trying to make for months because I finally got a new sewing machine. So all in all, what you can expect from my channel this year is probably going to be a lot of crafting, hopefully a lot of sewing, makeup tutorials, and more baking. I may not be able to produce videos on a weekly basis, but I am going to try my best to produce quality videos that I really love and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So on that note, cheers to things that make us happy like pho and crafting and close friends. Let's dig in and get into some painting. All right, we got our paint colors and I'm pretty excited. I'm also kind of nervous because I mean, I feel like this might be a little too peachy, but this is definitely kind of like the nice rust red I wanted to go with. Um, all we can do is put it on the wall and see how it turns out. So let's get back to the house. All right, we're back in the bathroom. Got our paints, got our pencils, got some string to hopefully make a perfect circle. Really hoping I don't fuck this up, but worst case scenario, I just paint it over with white. Let's start by taking down the picture. Oh God, oh God, it's so gross behind here. <laughs> Oh God. So 
Um, <laughs> there's there's some bugs sitting here and a, a rusty rusty nail in the wall. Good start. Definitely gotta clean that off and take the nail out. That's really gross. <laughs> All right, before I clean this nastiness. Got a hammer. Let's take out this rusty nail. Oh my god. Why do you need a nail that big for a picture like that? Like, what? That is an intense nail. That's an intense hole in the wall too, but we're gonna work with it. Let's clean up this nastiness, shall we? I think I'm gonna wipe it off dry and then wet and then dry again. Why are there so many dead bugs? <laughs> Why am I so short? <sighs> Struggles. Look how gross that wall was. Nasty. Okay, I'm short. I need to get like a step stool or something so I can hit these higher parts. And then the fun part can begin. Got some string. Originally got this to do some macrame, but that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. Okay. Hmm. Think I want the archway to start here and make it past where the doorway is. So like when the door is open, you can still see the arch of it. So if I start here, I want it about here. That seems too narrow. Okay. I'm nervous. All right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna dive in. It's not even gonna think about it. Possibly gonna regret it later, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna put one part around my finger, the other part around the pencil like so so then you can have this be your middle part and as you go over it makes the arch or a full circle that's the trick that's how we're gonna do it wish me luck and hope that i don't fluff up okay yeah like that can you see that for now yeah, there we go. So that's the start of the arch. Feeling a little bit better as this goes, but uh, also don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> Thinking of how to achieve these straight lines. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is use my Thanksgiving thankful board thing as a straight line, because it's nice and long, and I think it'll be just long enough for me to pretty much sit this on the bottom of the frame where I know this is leveled and it's just high enough to where it'll connect with the arch and it'll just be a nice, good, straight line. Let's proceed. I'm pretty pumped for this. The more, the more I go on, the more I'm like, okay, this is pretty nifty. Next part is the sun, which is gonna go right about here. Okay, sun time. Sun time, fun time. <laughs> Okay, so I already showed you the swatches, but this is basically how it's looking. So this is gonna be the arch color, and this is going to be the sun color. And I'm going to be pouring the paint into my hair coloring cups. I did pick up an actual paintbrush because I figured mine are like, you know, the ones I use for painting are gonna be way too small. So this is what we're using. All right, got our paint poured, got our paintbrush. All that's left to do is how do I already have a hair in this paint? What the fudge? I don't even know how to get it. I mean, fingers, I guess. Oh no. Also, I probably should have changed my outfit before starting this because Lord knows I'm going to mess it up. But um, that just sounds like a lot of more work and I want to get this done with so I can enjoy it. So I guess one hair in the paint we'll consider as good luck, right? Let's go. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm telling myself I'm gonna be happy with this. I hear Kyoko. 
Kyoko. That's you. Yeah. A little streaky, but I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great, guys. You just you keep watching. You see, this is this is gonna turn out great. She said convincingly. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I guess while I do this, I should probably talk a little bit more, right? Uh, I kind of already told you about the changes happening in my life. Already starting 2021 20, off with a anxiety riddle bang. Um, but, you know, all I can really do is look to the future and keep doing my best. I have great family, great friends, a great job. Looking for a second one because your girl's gonna need some money. But other than that, I really am trying to stay optimistic. I am not the kind of person who likes to wallow in their sadness. I like to stay productive, keep pushing forward, progressing, changing for the better. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever moved so slowly in my life, making sure that I don't fudge this up. Ugh. All right, let me uh, switch up your view. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? You think it's so far? I'm sure this part isn't super entertaining because I'm literally playing Operation when it comes to these lines, but I just want it to look perfect. Gosh, I never realized how much of a perfectionist I am until it comes to crap like this, and then I realize how painfully, how much, how, and then I'm painfully aware how much of a perfectionist I am. So tell me, how has your guys' 2021 been so far? What did you think about the uh, takeover of the Capitol? Pretty, pretty crazy. Like honestly, what, what times are we living in? It blows my mind. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I would not be surprised if we had another civil war or a legitimate purge. Like, it just wouldn't shock me or come as a surprise at all. I'm not wishing for it, I'm just saying, if it does happen, I kind of told you so. Well, all right, I'd say for a first coat, that's looking pretty freaking good. Let's move on to the sun. Hopefully this will be dry by the time we're done with the sun, then we'll do like, you know, a second coat, and then a second coat for the sun, you get it. Well, let's just continue. All right, well, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that somehow all three of my batteries for my camera are completely dead. The good news is my camera takes some pretty good videos, pictures. Hopefully uh, it's the same resolution quality as my camera. And hopefully the audio doesn't completely suck. So <laughs> 2021, you just keep on giving. Anyways, let's continue. Oh, Father Bob Ross, please remind me to breathe and please send me your skills so that I do not mess this up. We are so close. I guess I'm just going to give it a little bit of time for this to all dry so that I can come back and do a second coat of both. And then we'll do the final reveal. Cool? Cool. And time for the big reveal.
It's simple, but I really like it. I think it adds a little something to the bathroom, you know? Adds some height, adds a little extra warmth. I dig it. I think it looks great. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope your 2021 is full of opportunities and progress. Keep an eye out for my next video. I have no idea when it's going to be or what it's going to be, but hopefully it's a good one and I'll see you there. Bye.